everyone, and welcome back to your local Aliso Viejo Market Snapshot. I'm Jacqueline Chase of the Chase Group right here in Aliso Viejo and Caldwell Banker. And today we will be joined shortly by Brian Wilson, a local mortgage lender that will be talking about the different types of buy downs and some helpful hints for those of you that are just curious about what's happening in the marketplace. But let's start by looking um, this week at what has happened in our local market. The week of November the 14th, um, we had 71 active listings that are here and that includes single family homes as well as condos and townhomes. When we look at days to enter market, and that would be from the time that the listing is taken and goes live on the MLS until the time that it enters escrow, we are currently looking at 101 days, just slightly up over two weeks ago, which was 74 days. When we look at last year, that number was 10 days. So there's been some significant leveling off and changes in our market. So it'll be interesting to get Brian's input on how he feels the market is going to go over the next six months. So stay tuned and join us here shortly. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we have Brian Wilson joining us with Aliso Nigel Mortgage. and. Hello. Hi, Brian. So nice to have you here. I'm going to have um, I'm going to be asking Brian about the current um, interest rate and maybe some helpful tips for those buyers out there that are finding it's a little bit out of their price range and also getting a look at over the next six months what we can expect um, as far as mortgage rates. Will they go up? Will they go down? What is the buying power looking like? So let's get started. So Brian, Tell us what makes you special. I know that you've been in business here for, my God, over 30 years, right? Over 33 years as wow. a mortgage broker. That means I effectively work with different lenders. I, that way I can place different clients with the best products for their situation or niche. Uh, I've had about a 90% client retention rate, which is very high in the industry. So I think the people are happy with me. And I'm also really look at myself as a long-term mortgage planner that I'm going to keep an eye on you for the time that you own your home or any other homes, etc. And uh, what else about me? Um, like Jackie, we don't work just a nine to five schedule. We have no, to work weekends. That, that would be nice. Nights. It, being home buyers, it can be very stressful. So we have to make sure we're available at all times, uh, you know, to be there for them, to comfort them. So I've you know, I feel like I've done a pretty good time in my career making people happy. And obviously, if you're interested in talking to me, reach out and we can see if we're a good fit for each other. And what's your phone number that they can reach out to in your best email? Uh, it is an easy one because I got the phone number a long time ago, 949-533-9333. It's Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, at ANMCG.com. Excellent, Brian. Joining me back today again is Brian Wilson with Aliso Nigel Mortgage and wanted to ask Brian a couple questions because there are so many lenders out there in the market today, Brian. Mm -hmm. We've got Chase, we've got Bank of America, we've got local credit unions. What sets you apart from some of these larger uh, warehouse banks? And what can you offer your client that maybe is different that the, the viewers out there are unaware of? Well, typically I'm on what's called the mortgage broker uh, re, uh, side of it, where larger banks are considered retail operations. Uh, it, usually mortgage brokers having access to more lenders, we can one, offer lower interest rates because our cost to do a loan, there is just not the same overhead as a bank that has to have employees, pay payroll tax, all the national marketing they do. So we typically offer rates that are better. Again, we have more products to go through. If one lender is backed up and we're trying to get a purchase through, I can pull that and put that to a different lender. And other things usually banks don't offer, I do reverse mortgages for home purchase. That's interesting. That's something that maybe you can come back and talk to us oh, about. Oh, I'd be happy reverse to. Reverse mortgages, because I think a lot of you yeah. out there have heard of them and heard of like a 2-1 buy down, but you just aren't sure what it is. So we have an expert here in our corner, oh, and okay. so um, we appreciate yeah. you coming by. Yeah, and also there's some other what we call alternative products that banks don't offer for, say, people that are self-employed that can't use their tax returns and we can use bank statements and other things. So I know a lot of people that and friends that work at the bank side of it and I've, a lot of them over the years have tried to recruit me but I'm just staying broker for the rest of my life because I just like having the 
advantage of my portfolio of all different lenders and niches to help the specific situation. Keeps me objective as your fiduciary. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Brian, for joining us today. And we look forward to having you back next week. Okay, well, I look forward to being back. Thank Great. you, Jackie. Thank you.